Alrighty then, the Maniac K1 GMM. I'm going to walk you folks through how to get this system running. I'm running HD SDR being controlled by Ham Radio Deluxe, the last free, free version. Uh, running a 7300 here, and I got it running uh, with a surround sound system. You see one of the speakers, center channel. The other uh, side speakers over there, left hand, can't see it, but that silver thing, subwoofer down there, it is sweet uh, for anybody running ESSB type audio. It is beautiful. Anyways, I was able to get uh, HDSDR to put the 7300 into transmit using the space bar right here on the keyboard. You'll see it going to transmit right now. And, uh, oh, I'm not on, uh, sorry about that, I'm not on HDSDR. Um, and actually I have to tune up. So let me run through the setup first. Uh, I'm running an, H HD, uh, an RTL SDR dongle, which is fed from the 7300 via the RX7300 mod, which is a piece of crap. If I were you, I'd go to DigiKey, order the appropriate connectors for the RF deck, and build your own out of uh, high-grade RG58 coax. That's what I would do if I did it again. Anyways, on to setup. What you want to do first is you want to install the driver for the RTL SDR dongle. I had a lot of problems doing this, so let me go right over here. Go to Google, type in USB driver tool. Okay, and the first one that pops up here, click on this. What you want to do is you want to download this. So download it and use that driver tool. Follow the instructions to install the RTL SDR dongle. This is only for the dongle. This is the only thing I have experience with. Uh, so once that's done, what you want to do is you want to install the free version of HRD. So you can go to Google, and uh, it's on, available online. Download the last free version of HRD, Ham Radio Deluxe. You'll need that. Okay, uh, once that's into the computer, follow the install instructions. Configure the radio. Uh, so, and there's instructions on how to do that online, so I'm not going to go through it. How to configure the uh 7300. Uh, you'll find it online. Just type in uh, uh, IC7300, configure HRD, and you'll get all, all the stuff you need. You do have to run HRD in the IC7700 profile, and you'll have full rig control except for just a couple things, uh, which is really a moot point. It, it's great if you're going to run PSK and all that other stuff, so you want it set up right, which I do. Um, I do a lot of PSK, um, stuff like that. So, okay, moving on. So once you install HRD, now you want to download and install HDSDR. So let's go to HDSDR. Okay, S HDSDR homepage. Click on this, and you'll see right there. Right there at the bottom of the home screen, download. Download that. Uh, stable. It says stable version 2.76. That's the one you want. This was updated February 2nd, 2017. Um, this is the one I'm using. It works sweet. I keep saying that. Anyways, uh, install that. Now I'm going to walk you through uh, the settings in HDSDR to get this to work. So on HDSDR... Um, you'll see EXTIO right there. You want to click on that, and you'll see your RTL S uh, 2838U HIDI dongle. Uh, I have mine set for 2.4 mega, megabits per second, 64 kilobit buffer. Um, okay, uh, tuner gain I have set at zero, uh, or all the way down. Uh, tuner AGC on, RTL AGC on. Okay, once you do that, uh, go to, if you look right here, this is important stuff right here. 
Uh, so go to sound card and choose. I'm I'm monitoring this. So let me explain this. I'm monitoring it through the computer through the surround system. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that because w- what it does is it allows me to use the notch filters in all the controls of the HDSDR system software on the 7300. I do not monitor from the 7300. I'll tell you why I do this. The level of control that you have, you can apply as many notch filters as you like within this in this uh, audio spectrum. Notch filters have to be applied to the audio spectrum uh, scope, not the waterfall, the spectrum. I have mine on the bottom. I'll show you where to find those. So go to your sound card collect, uh, selection. I have mine set to uh, using the sound card and the radio. Uh, Real Tech High Definition Audio. I have that set there. Now go to Options. Select Input. I have mine set to Real Tech. Okay, that's the internal sound card. Um, if you scroll down, Front End Configuration. This is important. Front End Configuration. SDR hardware connected to the antenna by default. That's That's the one you want right there. Okay, make sure that's checked. Full sync, th- full sync in both directions. Leave everything else alone. Okay, hit apply. X, X out. Uh, go back to options. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 miscellaneous options. I'll show you this. I have mine set to auto start, showtime, and UTC. Important. Uh, high pri- I have mine set to high process priority. Okay. Um, now let's go down. Uh, DDE to HD SDR. This is also important because you're using HRD as a rig control. So you want this set to H- HRD. Click that HDRD. Sync type tune. Okay. Uh, click OK. Uh, go back to options. Down to DDE to HD SDR. Uh, that's where we just were. Sorry about that. Go back to options. Down to cat to, cat to radio omni rig. Okay, the only thing I have checked off here is sync uh, local oscillator frequency. You want that activated and sync modulation. Check that. Okay, moving down. Cat to HD SDR. Okay, uh, go over here. Make sure your port is the port that your radio is on. Okay, my radio is on COM3. You want to make sure that's on the same port. And you can find that by going to, let me go over here, uh, right click on the Explorer tab and on computer, right there, right click, properties, device manager. So we'll open Device Manager, go to Ports. Okay. Uh, You will also need to download the driver for your 7300. Don't forget that. Install that. It's a Silicon Labs driver. It will not work without that. So there's a Silicon Labs driver operating on COM port 3. So there you go. That's how to find that to verify. Okay. Uh, Back over to Options. Uh, CAT to HD SDR, port COM3, baud rate. Uh, go into your uh, 7300, make sure your baud rate set to 9600. Same as this. PTT activation pin, set it none, CAT only. Um, and that's it. Um, go down to TX. Okay, this is important as well. TX. You want to make sure Mute RX Audio on TX is checked and enable TX button for HRD, DDE. You want that enabled, okay? So that's basically it. So what happens is, is your your computer monitors the radio. It takes the RF feed, provides all of the information for your waterfall, uh, your spectrum scope, also brings your audio in, uh, via the RTL SDR dongle, um, and let me get this up to where it needs to be. 
And what you're able to do is you're able to monitor your audio through the computer and it gives you the power of being able to apply notch filtering to heavy QRM. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using this during the Worldwide DX contest coming up in March because QRM, uh, usually there's a station every 0.5 uh, K. Um, it's absolutely bombastic. So this will enable you to do that. Uh, I'll be back with a demonstration of that.